All right, guideline one. So really my innovation is that being that I'm a liberal arts person, uh, my course is actually an in-person class disguised as an online class. Um, everybody who looks at my forums, including faculty who have done peer evals say this, um, they're pretty surprised uh, by the way I customize responses, you know, different lessons to the students because each one is getting a different um, experience out of the class. Uh, and yes, it does take a lot of time and work, uh, but you know, I'm using my own background and my own knowledge uh, combined with theirs, the students' knowledge uh, to create something new new and of course for me you know working with the laulimo tools um, I wanted to find a way to um, go beyond just using the tools and make them into something special and of course for me um, as a history teacher uh, that was kind of a challenge uh, but what I would like to show you right now um, is how I not only involve my own class, um, and many of them are teachers this semester, so apparently I've you know, collected a collection of teachers who have talked about my online class and are all taking it. So my class is 80% teachers right now. And you can see that they actually get excited to the point where they involve their own families, they involve their own husbands. Here we were having a discussion in a forum about Greek mythology and the um, city of Atlantis. And of course it is um, based on real history um, and then one of the students who's uh, you know like married she woke up her husband and she made him answer the question because he was actually participating in the forums as well and you can see she woke him up twice which I thought was great and very amusing and many times they will start speaking with their co-workers and even their um, own uh, daughters and sons and they will try to teach my lessons to their own family and so it's going you know community-wide Guideline two. So my best innovative strategy, um, actually, you know, this is a bespoke class in the sense that I use my own knowledge uh, and my own travels really to make this class unique. Um, and I challenge other students to ask me whatever they would like um, and to ask each other questions. Uh, and this is why my class has a lot of fluidity. Again, you know, I wanted to work my way around the Laulima tools and make them into something special. Uh, I what, the biggest thing is I need a very large knowledge base to do this um, and engage them in this way because um, students can uh, direct the forums in any direction they would like. Um, and also, you know, sometimes they email me, you know, at uh, later hours and I will answer them um, on individual interests. Um, I rely on my extensive travel. You can see this here. You know, I use my own travel photos and that also provides a very unique experience. And I'll put my own travel videos in the lessons. And whenever the students, um, you know, want to question something more, if they're very curious about a topic, um, I will add extra photos even from my own travels um, to teach them whatever they would like to know about. Guideline three. So my online course combines the best features of online learning and in-person learning to promote great student-to-student -student and instructor-to-student interaction. Uh, students do become part of the learning. I always pose them historical puzzles and they end up having to play historical detective each week. And this really ropes them into the class and it keeps them hooked on the class um, for the whole week. Because first I give them historical questions and clues and then they have to answer um, those clues in the forums and um, I don't give them the answer to the end of the week. And uh, here you're seeing something rather graphic, but interesting. So this is uh, one of my end of the week answers. I do it by announcement. Um, and the kids will say things like, I can't wait to figure out what the answer is. I wish I knew the answer now. And so, you know, I'm building anticipation. In this case, we were talking about uh, the burial of a Shang king, which is, you know, an ancient Chinese king. Um, and I gave them all these clues. They actually had to use a lot of historical knowledge. Uh, but then when I gave them the answer, you can see it was pretty shocking. I even drew them a graphic. Uh, because the Shang King's burial was quite bloody um, and they were buried with wives and um, human sacrifices in an upside down pyramid. Uh, so that's what you're seeing me drawing here. So, you know, we have fun, but also, um, you know, it is anticipation uh, and that seems to be very effective. Uh, I also um, 
do a much more detailed answer than I could with um, 35 students in class uh, because of course I have time you know to answer them by email and in the forums so the experience is much deeper um, even than in an in-person class. Guideline four, promoting student assessment. Um, so pretty much the biggest thing, especially now that you've realized I've had to convert this into a five week class is losing students because obviously um, they're going to get lost along the way if you really don't uh, keep uh, in touch with them. And so I try to make things feel very natural. Most students come in with serious test anxiety because of course these are time tests. Um, I'm constantly emailing them, checking to make sure they're not alone in front of their computers. Um, and the probably the biggest thing I do is I have phone office hours and so what that means is I allow them to call me from five to eight o'clock every evening many students do use this and it's probably been my most important uh, assessment strategy because it helps so much whenever they need to study or ask me a question or just you know feel worried because a lot of these are adults going back to school um, they do call and they do feel better and or they're clearer on information and there is no way most of the time you would actually contact these students um, in person because this is an online class and so this is the way uh, that I've learned to help students more and it definitely makes a difference when they take their exams. Okay, guideline five. So let's be honest. Um, you know, one of the criticisms of online classes is that teachers use it to hide, right? Or make things easier. Well, that is definitely not true with my class. Um, promoting student learning takes probably double or triple the amount of time that it would for an in-person class. Um, and student support. So, you know, I'm always there. And I would say my innovation here is that I'm a 24-7 live teacher um, hiding behind the computer. Uh, and so anytime they need me, um, I really am there and that surprises them. And you can see um, within each lesson or each uh, class, you know, I, I actually allow them um, to follow their own individual interests. So here, you know, I, uh, we had a basic question, but then I allowed them to talk about another topic we were studying, which is Islam. And sometimes, you know, they have very um, interesting questions or they're really trying to learn something because in this case, they had no idea. Um, uh, what Islam was you know they didn't even know the word Muslim and uh, so I'm trying to use each question they ask as another teaching moment um, this takes an inordinate amount of time um, I do answer all 35 students so uh, you know in my in-person classes but um, online you can see I write paragraphs and paragraphs uh, just for each student um, in case they ask me special things and then you know it's not over most of the time then they're so interested in a certain subject so you know the method is working I can see here um, they will uh, email me outside of class time and usually my response time is within just a couple hours uh, so you know that's why I get a very good student response um, and again I've attached my student responses from last semester you can see that so you know I've built up a reputation amongst teachers and um, many Many other types of students, returning adults, um, freshmen, uh, but this semester I've, I have pretty much 99% teachers who are learning to be teachers themselves. And so maybe they will use the same methods that I've taught them. <laughs> 